Hi, my name is Philip Dutram. Welcome to this utilities technical tip which will talk about macro feature. A macro feature is a macro which is inserted inside the SOLIDWORKS document design tree so that will be executed on each FISE rebuild. So performed action needed to be chosen carefully to avoid time issue. For demonstration, the macro will send to user a warning saying that extrusion function has been converted to a sheet metal function. First step is to create a macro which includes three things, security, which is optional, definition edition, and rebuild, which is the only mandatory element. The first one, located under SWM security function manage action related to the macro feature. Can it be suppressed, replaced? Can rollback bar be placed before it? The second one, SWM edit definition, will be applied when function will be edited. The last one does almost all work because SWM rebuild is running when model is rebuilding. Second step is to insert macro feature into design tree. First time macro use need to be launched from the desired file. After, file can be saved as template and can be used for all new documents. Once insert into the new document, macro feature will execute on each model rebuild. Macro feature has been inserted into design tree and it's ready to use. It can be seen nothing happened when extrusion created, which is normal since there is no sheet metal feature. If we try to edit macro itself, it pop up a message saying that it cannot be edited since it was programming as is. However, as soon as the extrusion is converted into a sheet metal part, a message pop up as part become a sheet metal part. The message will be displayed at each rebuild as the part will be a sheet metal type. Note that regular rebuild control B doesn't display the pop up, but force rebuild control Q does. If sheet metal feature is deleted, message will not be displayed. Macro feature can be suppressed as any feature. 